You need to invest the time. Yes, I do. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Now, uh, I... Which got leads something on. leads on to. Yes, exactly. Uh, I, I was uh, curious about this article about you curiousness. Mm. Uh, I do quite a bit of work with people on creativity and curiosity is potentially part of creativity, mm. so I'm always looking, and I looked at this. Uh, six, we like a list on the radio. Six things that you can do when your job kills your curiosity. So in relation to someone who's going to be in a job an awful lot longer... Are there any practical suggestions here? Your job may be routine and monotonous, but what goes in, on inside your head doesn't have to be. Where did I get this? I got this from <coughs> Fast Company, Work Smart. So this is a website, um, www.fastcompany.com. Um, and it's a piece which has got a list of six things, as I said, that improve your curiosity and... Um, they did say, this is the bit, curiosity often thought to be a personality trait, but like, like creativity is often used to be thought as a personality trait, something that is just kind of part of who you demonstrated as part of who you are. But they reckon it's only about 40% heritable, which means that there's a 60% playing off here in the environment that you're in and what you do to generate your own curiosity. Uh, it... Did you read the bit that, sadly, organisations say they value curiosity, mm. but managers tend to inhibit it? Have you yeah, worked I, I, corporately and uh, that, Gillian? I, I, I have never really worked uh, corporately, as you put it. Right. Uh, I have worked for other people. Right. Um, and I think that I'm a pretty creative person and I'm very curious. And? And I've always pushed, I've always come to the table with ideas yeah. And I think when those ideas have been squashed, I've actually felt undervalued and, and have then tended to want to move on. But sometimes, having worked in corporate life, um, sometimes, uh, certainly when I was younger, I was always asking why. Um, mm. and why do we do this this way? Yeah, I was just curious, especially when I was a trainee manager in hotels, I didn't know why. And I, I just, and I used to wind people up crazy <laughs> because I was, you know, I was always, I guess when I was a child, I was always saying why. I don't know. But, um, in corporate life, a manager can feel threatened if somebody's putting suggestions forward and an inquisitive and saying, well, why do you do it that way? And might feel threatened and try yes. and squash them for that reason, um, which is their own fear and move on, get over it. I think, I think they're absolutely right. that uh, <clears throat> It's very difficult for any organisation to say, no, we don't value curiosity. Well, curiosity but is, is, is a... a just another manifestation of intelligence. Mm. So you'd be pretty stupid as a boss not to value it, wouldn't you? And yet the behaviour, as we've just discussed, yeah. the behaviour of many organisations is such that it does actually crush it a little bit. I can see the, the practical problems. If you are interested to learn, you do a job that is um, A, B and C and you're interested in doing D, have you got the capacity to look at D when you are still paid to do A, B and C? Um, and so for practical reasons, I can see that it has to be managed and... Um, and Maybe channelled. Channelled, managed and budgeted, but, and, and sometimes limited. But um, that doesn't mean that it shouldn't happen. Mm. Mm. Well, they, the, the, the list of six things quickly. No, first of all, they start with knowing what you don't know. So it's exploring the gaps in your knowledge uh, and that they tell us that uh, many people tend to double down, as they call it, on what we're already good at. So you get in this groove, or you get mm. stuck in a groove, you know how to do it, it comes easily, so you stay at it. So they say, uh, um, shy away from the, un some people shy away from the unfamiliar, and, and that's not a good thing, for to mm. keep stimulating your curiosity. Mm. And the one, the, the point two, stop focusing, on, I think they're all related, aren't they? But yeah. stop focusing on your strengths. It's easy to play to your strengths, and very often you will find people at work will, will say, you know, we need to play to your strengths. What are your strengths? Play to your strengths. Mm. And here they're saying um, you need to stop playing to your strengths sometimes and um, actually start to explore your weaknesses, where you feel uncomfortable. Mm. We talked about the comfort zone, Myra. That's right. So, um, cut out the distractions. Uh, Curiosity has two sides, the bright and yes. the dark side. I liked that one. Yeah. 
acquiring new uh, the bright side is about acquiring knowledge and developing expertise the dark side is killing boredom yeah so we people are curious especially with technology they'll have their um, tablets go in the ipad playing games and whatever and that's because they're curious or they're um, nosy about something but it's trivial and and they as they talk about it it's um, the dark side of knowledge and curiosity as opposed to using it for anything positive. Yeah, an age of information overload, it's especially easy to kill time by consuming trivial content. Mm. Looking at Facebook. so true. Yeah. yeah. Looking at Facebook because you're curious about mm. what somebody's doing that you know. Yeah. What, I mean, yes. yeah, of course we all do it, but that's not going to develop you. It's not going to... Exactly. No. I'm curious about what you're having for lunch. Yeah. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoa. Wow. It's not a learning experience, is yeah. it? Yeah. I guess is what they're trying to say uh, here. Number four, start hanging out with new people. Well, okay, that's a good idea, that's I what suppose. what we're doing here. And yeah, that's we why are. listening to these sort of programmes. I love going into London and sitting in the tube and just hearing all these different languages. God. Yes. You know, yes. I, I just think that is mm. what gives us the opportunity to learn and to, to just draw in all these different influences. Are just yeah. Well, they certainly feed my curiosity. Uh, number five is volunteer more, okay? Mm-hmm. That keeps you keeps your curiosity up, and um, embrace psychological diversity. Yeah. Um, well, it, I, I actually think that this, just coming back to what we said at the very beginning of the program, was an example of where maybe we hadn't. We were talking about Brexit, weren't we? And I think there was a clear case here of not having understood the diversity of opinion mm. in because we're sealed in this kind of little southeast bubble that we hadn't actually embraced the psychological diversity of great swathes of the population mm. in in different parts of the either country or age ranges or and and I do actually think that that's very very so, important so perhaps if um if the whole population had been more curious and not just taken the facts that were dished out at us, we might have had a better opportunity to vote intelligently, but we weren't curious enough to find out the facts. <laughs> I think that's a very good point. I'm not I sure. I think the you're facts making were. a couple of points there. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, I'm, I'm bringing that little discussion to a close only because I want to have an opportunity before we say. Uh,